Okay. Back with more Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, no, that, if I re remember correctly, that race is... Wait, what's that? Oh. Yeah, that race is all the way over here. So I'm going to at least speak with speak with Professor Niam Fitzgerald, which means I need to go to the map chamber. Welcome back. Thank you. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Ah, <sighs> most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Okay. So now how I'll have to get how into to access the, to the headmaster's office. office. Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. What are you up to now? Ah, uh, you know, the usual classes, uh, friends breaking into the headmaster's office, the use. Okay. Rebellion. Okay. Uh, if I run into any of the the Dalian the keys on the way to Professor. Fig's office. I'll collect those. If I don't, I may... Ooh. That's really cool. If I don't find Rebellion. the remaining Dedalian keys before the end of the game, I may do one last video. Um, just finding those two keys and showing what 
comes, uh, what the end of that quest line looks like. Revelio. She's always showing up. You should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me in the Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Okay. I was playing golf though when we could play pool. I'll meet you soon. Very nice music. My great heart. Revelio. Ah, oh, snow. Revelio. Ah, oh, quest. Now what am I supposed to do? Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Okay. Going to go I ahead and do that. The bells are just inside in the bell tower. I'll get back to the main quest when I finish. Revelio. Uh, when I put in I the like bells. Ooh. Aloha, Mora.
Revelio. Bombarda. Confringo. I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the smidgen. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. I will soon. Out of two, four. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The newt or salamander. Nope. It's this one here. There we go. Uh, four, five, six, three. There we go. Revelio. must be upstairs. Alohomora. That's one. up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. Wingardium Leviosa! to go. Don't think that's the right spot though. Revelio. Second bell. Revelio. What's this here? Oh no, I'll read. Check that, that out.
Come on. Get in. Well, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this. Even if Black isn't. I thought I saw something about one of the keys being over here. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Revelio. Please be included. Right, I think I already got the key over here. Yeah, I think I did. I remember coming up here. Rebellion. Well, yes, I thought it brought me up here. I thought I heard something over here somewhere. to talk to Evangeline. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. I don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Ah, oh, so close to becoming 30, level 32. Good. Not as good. None of the stuff I've been getting lately is as good as what I have on. Oh, 
Okay, on with the main quest. How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Stim, I just saw another portrait of this guy. Don't know who he is. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him when to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Hello, student. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. 
And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Wait. I have to go down. Has anyone seen my ivory handled hand mirror? Of course. I heard the headmaster approaching. You did. Ah, the door is here. Greetings. I mean, out of my way, <laughs> children. Headmaster, here we are. What could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Stand for something is very wrong with the Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We. We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it makes some sense to them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to. What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I. You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. <laughs> I like us as profess as black. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Quite. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I, uh, I... Professor, a word, please. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? <sighs> Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, 
Yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I am happy to look in... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fisk. I Neither shall I. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Scrope's as hard a worker as any house elf. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh. Ahem! The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. i best get out of sight. <coughs> Time to get out of here. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. <laughs> 